company. All right. I'll let a few people get in here. But I will say welcome into the show. What's up, tubers and cannabis smokers? That's what I used to say. Some version of it. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm a mess over here. All right, we'll let a few more people get in here for the show. Welcome to the live trap. Remember to guard your privacy. <laughs> I like how they like put up a disclaimer now. <laughs> All right, I think this is what? This is our third live stream show on YouTube. So welcome in for the third one. And Fridays, we're doing Wake and Bake with Med over on the uh, Med Grower One live Instagram page. Where we just bullshit and just get fucking lit. <laughs> uh, what's up, Wolverine Grows? Finally, I catch you live. Well, here it is, man. Yes, you are catching us live. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about IPM. I'm going to talk about the products that I'm currently using. I got a product that is coming real shortly that I'm going to start using that's highly recommended and we'll talk about that. Uh, I think we'll do a little unboxing of the Pulse Pro. Probably a lot of you guys had this. It's been out for a while. But uh, I'm going to swap this out with my old older uh, pulse monitor, the original. <laughs> it still works, but um, I have one of these in my chamber. It's just got a lot more features. We'll talk more about it. I mean, like you guys probably know, know what it is. It's nice to uh, look at all the available features that it has extra on it, like the CO2, like the PAR, the PPFD, the light spectrum, the temperature, the humidity, the VPD and the dew point. This has it all. All right, what should we do first? All right, well, fuck it. Before we get into it, you guys, let's just go ahead and uh, I'm going to bust out my uh, focus. And I'm going to focus. Last night, man, I got this out. Got it all fucking ready. And I don't know what happened. Oh, it was clogged. So I tried to, and I already heated it up and I already put some product in it and I couldn't, I couldn't hit it because it was clogged and needed to be cleaned. I go in there to pull out that reclaim out of the way and somehow, I don't know, shit splashed from out of here onto my hand. That sucker burnt like a motherfucker. So... Put it on the widescreen. You know what, Digger? I did the widescreen and it sucks. Just watch it on your phone, bro. The widescreen doesn't give you the ability for your video to be showed on shorts. The widescreen only showed this much and then everything else in my garage. So I tried it. I didn't really like it that much. I mean, maybe we'll switch on and off, but for the most part, I don't like it. YouTube doesn't recommend it. Um, I get it. If you're watching it on your computer, it, it fills the screen up. Okay. There's really nothing over here that you need to see in <laughs> anyways. So, and everybody watches their phones like this anyways, all the other platforms. I get it. I get it. I tried it. I didn't like it. I was constantly fighting with the camera angle and stuff. So, there you go. Uh, IG is on the wife's phone. Too bad. <laughs> Ugh, shit. Oh, no. I was going to do a dab of Clementine. It looks like we're... I mean, it looks like I could scrape one out of there, huh? Hmm. Get my cool happy. Get this all ready with you guys. Put it on widescreen. No, 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 nope. <laughs> I already tried. Did it last time. I didn't like it. 
Oh, you're the same dude that said that. Sorry. I don't want to repeat myself. I mean, for viewing on your computer, it's great, but the majority of people, this is fact, watch everything on their phones now. Hardly anyone sitting and watching it on their computers. Hardly anyone. Not many. Yep, some of you guys got tablets and are watching them, but the majority of folks, I can see it in the analytics, it tells you, they are watching from their phones. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to get all that much out of here. Yeah, just a little. Oh, shit, I better hurry up. It's dripping. There it goes. Oh, I'm on the couch trimming. Awesome. Man, I, ha I need flour. I need good flour. The... I've only had one good flour from the dispensary. Other than that, it's been, I need to get, cause I'm gonna start, oh, that's really cooking, hold on. Um, I think Mr. Tight has a few primal seed packs, primal punch seed packs left on empirebreedingco.com's website. Go check over there, I gave him all the rest. <coughs> to help promote his website, generate some sales over there. You know, you help your friends out. I could have sold them all on mine. <coughs> Watermelon skunk and biscotti mints. Oof. Ooh, yeah, good idea. You're right. I bet you this little tiny torch lighter I got <coughs> would probably cook that all up and I'd probably be able to just probably pour it right in there, right? I'm on a computer, so not me. Hate watching anything on a phone sucks. I get it, man. It's small and all that, but... Sorry, brother. My apologies to you. Alright, let's see what else we got here. I might not be totally out of Clementine. God, you guys. You ever get an opportunity to buy for Groly's Clementine, do it. Do it. Even follow him on the Instagram. And you can hit him up in the DMs, ask him what he's got on the menu, and just, like, go from there. You know, ask him what event he's going to be at next or what dispensary he sends his stuff to. But the stuff is freaking awesome. Oh, I actually got... Another one. This one's the sauce. What was that one? The batter. That was the batter. All right, this one's the sauce. We're gonna hit this one one more. Oh no! That's what happens when you turn them on their sides, guys. Oh, there we go. I got it. The gooper. Yep. It is exactly what happened. That's why I try to keep all my stuff in one of these. You can get them at Harbor Freight super cheap. And I try to keep them all stacked real nice so they're not on their side and all that shit. Alright, let's do one more dab and then we'll start getting into some IPM talk. Can Fagroli ship to me? I don't know. Those are conversations. I'm not answering none of that. You gotta hit homie up. See what he's doing. If you follow him, just DM him and ask him if there's any, how he wants to communicate and go from there. All right, let's do this. One more of these. I did one show and got really ripped off. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, this little little knife is awesome, you guys. Just press that button, it falls right off the tip and right in there, man. So cheers. Oh, I appreciate it there, dirt digger man.
so citrusy, so so orange peel, and <clears throat> the effects that you get is perfect, like from the morning for the mornings because it, you know, you can, if you don't smoke too much, because you can still function. Like if I grabbed Pedro's Critical Kush over there and just fucking did two in a row of that, I'd be fucking done. I'd go in the house and like watch fucking reruns of something. All right, let's see how much we got left. No, oh, one more hit. All right, there we go. So, anyways, thank you guys for joining. We got 19 so far. Are you? Beautiful people out there. Get that all clean. This thing's pretty easy to clean, too. I'm impressed. I was a little worried about it. This actually, it's still a little hot. Let me turn it off. Press it five times. There you go. It makes a little noise. <clears throat> so, this little thing here comes off. It's a booty, right? It's pretty cool. It's got the little cap on it with the little, little hole. You gotta clean it. Look at that. You gotta clean it. <laughs> That's where that came from. Let's see. You always gotta have a box of these around, right? The wipes. Oh no! No, well, that's it. see. I've been smoking over there. Look at that. So I'm starting up a a, a new business. I'm starting up a which I've always been a collector of cards and comic books. Um, but now I got so much of it, I'm gonna start a little side hustle and I got a little, little, little bit fell on there, fell on uh, Austin Riley. Somebody buys that card and they're gonna be like, man, why does that smell like the poop? So anyways, that's what happened. This can come off, and inside there, there'll be a lot of reclaim in there and on the bottom. What I've been doing is taking 99% isopropylol, just put a little bit in there, let it set, take one of your dabber tools and just go right around the rim and it comes right out. This comes off. You pop it off like that, the little uh, hole in there um, will be totally clogged with reclaim. What I've been doing is I will heat it just a little and then take a, uh, one of my tools and pull it out. Or if it's just a little bit, I'll heat it up with my uh, little torch lighter and just drain it all out. And if you're, if you're not gonna smoke the Reclaim, I don't know how many of you guys are all into that. I put it in a worm in one of my joints and it fucked me all up. Um, you can just torch it and heat it all up and just get rid of it. It just depends who you is and what you like to do. All right, let's set that right there. Close this all up. We'll heat that up and get a dab out of it later, like the bro said. All right, there we go. Card is my next purchase. Hey, you know what? And with 420 coming up, I'd probably hit their website because before I bought one, I obviously was eyeballing it for a while. And they're pricey. They are. I do believe they're close to 400 bucks. At least three, three high threes. And they did a Black Friday combo of these two together for under 300 bucks. I think it was like 260, 270, 280, 290 maybe, something like that if I could remember correctly. And it's great. Man, I don't have to do the torch thing no more. Don't get me wrong, man. I still love this. This this is awesome. You can't just set these aside, right? I mean, but you know, hey, I don't got to heat the banger. Some people might prefer the off the glass than versus, I think, what is, is this a ceramic piece? Not 100% on that, but it might be. All right. All right, let's see. Hey, what's up, Superior? Cheers, motherfucker. Man, are you chilling on the boat this summer? Fuck yeah, I am. Matter of fact, I gotta make a boat payment. It's not too bad. It's 238 bucks a month. 
I mean, right now it's a little tough because, you know, we're, we're making it week to week just like every other, every other person. You know, that's why when I get orders on the website, I take that shit serious because I know the motherfucker on the other side of that order is probably making it week to week, you know, too, just like us, so. Ah, uh, boats and hoes, yep. I get my wife out there, I tell her to get all hoed up in her kini. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, she got mad over the summer. I'm going to tell you guys this. This is my wife. She was in her bikini, and she was all bent over in the boat. What's every dude going to do? You're looking. You're looking if that's not even your old lady. You are. I know you is. Every one of you motherfuckers. So I just grabbed the pho phone and went... <laughs> oh, she was so pissed. All coming at me, wanting to hit me. You know how girls are. And I'm laughing the whole time. Uh, yeah, I got to look at the photos a couple of times, and then I had to delete them. <laughs> Hoping to get UK cheese cut from y'all at the end of this month. I don't have the UK cheese cut no more. Dude, I sold four in 2024. Unfortunately, the UK cheese was a strain that we got rid of. Now, if there becomes a some sort of a demand for it, um, you know, I could resource it. I could. But with the limited space and with new things coming in and, you know, certain things not selling as much as the other ones, we just got to kind of, you know, let some things go and rotate. But the cool thing is, is, you know, I can 90% of the time get things back. My God, my glasses are filthy y'all uh so i'm sorry about that dude so good morning man phoenix what's up man bonds up dude man you're probably sitting out there on your well i don't know it's warmer there than michigan for sure <laughs> as i say sitting out on your porch what did you replace the uk cheese oh man lots of strains i mean i can't remember something specific but you know the most currents are, are the chem dog and the don mega are the two most current strains. So we got rid of Alien OG and UK Cheese. They were not big sellers, and we brought those to it. <clears throat> uh, the Don Mega is like, a, uh, I do believe, a GMO cross. Uh, so it could. It's the Breeders' Cut, and they recommend 80-day flowering time. Now, you guys, I always tell everybody, once you start hitting 65 and on the 70 day mark, man, just look at those trichomes. You can use USB little scopes now. I wish I had it still out here, but I got it in the house. Microscope, you hook them up to, even to your phones and you can look at the heads. If they're where you like it, chop it. Just because somebody says it takes 80 days, doesn't mean it's gonna take 80 days for you or in your garden or what you like. You know, if you're somebody that likes the heavy fucking stoner to the boner buzz, obviously you're going to want to run it a little longer. You know, get some more milky amber shit going. But yeah. Oh, man, you're welcome, dude. Still getting clones from you at the end of the... All right, dude. Well. All right. We will see you then at the end of the month. All right, IPM, you guys. We all should be doing it, no matter if you got a problem or not. And what Old Med does over here is for maintenance sprays, um, we spray twice a week. All right, one will be with a um, organic style pesticide, and I'm going to show you. And then the other one I've been doing over the winter is the Zeratol with a little bit of CalMag. All right, and that's basically a fungus spray for your molds and stuff. And, and the reason why I do that is, is because during the winter time, I can't take my plants out in the driveway. Usually what Wayne and I'll do, we'll pull all the plants right out of the nursery and we'll set them all out in the driveway on a nice day. You know, sun's probably out and it's not windy as all hell. And we will use a wettable sulfur. Wettable sulfur, is your best bang for your buck, all right? It will kill bugs, it will deter bugs, it will kill molds and funguses, all right? You can get it 
lots of places. Ace Hardware, you can walk up and get them. Amazon, lots of stores, all right? Check around, and you can get it cheap. Fairly cheap. I think this thing's like five pounds, four pounds. And I think I got it for like 15 bucks. There's people out there, and I've ordered it from Amazon, and it's probably more now, everything is. Um, so I paid a little more than going up to a hardware garden center or something like that. All right, you can get there. Gross stores have them too, but they're gonna upcharge. So, wettable sulfur, to me, hands up, because you can use it, and three weeks later, you come back and just hit it again. And if you do have powdery mildew, this, by far, is the most effective, if, in my opinion. There's other products out there now that are awesome, and I'm sure you guys are gonna list them off in chat. But when we get to the spring of the year, all through the summer and into the fall, it's wettable sulfur over here. You start using wettable sulfur, I'm sorry I'm not totally reading the comments yet. You gotta watch out when you start to go back to use oils, all right? That was one of the, another benefit to when I was using Zeratol mix for a um, full mold powdery mildew, God, I'm baked now, powdery mildew fungus type of infection, the Zeratol. Um, there's lots of info out there on the Zeratol, and I'm not an expert. I haven't even been using it a year yet. What I can tell you is I do still feel like, because Zeratol is expensive, expensive dudes I would go to this <laughs> over that especially for expense this wins out on all the products I'm going to talk about okay and I'm not affiliated I don't have discount codes or nothing this is just straight up old ass med telling you what he thinks is the best and so far I think it's the best for everything the sulfur now the problem with the sulfur is it's messy it's messy, you guys. It's gonna leave. Um, you spray it in your room, man, after it dries, you got yellow shit on the wall. Straight up, on your tent, on your, you know, the shit we got up in the wall, and then you gotta clean it and it's a bitch to get off. And it lays residue all in your trays, and you know what I'm talking about, you guys. It just settles everywhere. It's preferable that if you can take them into even a spray tent, you had a four by four and you just stuck some plants in there and you sprayed and that's all you did in there. Or take them out on the back deck. But remember there's gonna be sul sulfur will dry on there and then you have to spray it off. And that's why we do in the driveway because then I can rinse it off. So let me see. Do you have a video that talks about what to add and what not to add in the flowering stage? Been going back and forth and adding kelp and flower. Okay, are you talking about uh, that'll be a different show. I, are you talking about like, um, like bud enhancers, nutrients, and stuff like that during the flowering stage? Because you like to use kelp, man. I haven't used sea, sea kelp in a long time. Um, man, I got lots of videos, but I, you know, I had to remake the Medgrower One YouTube page right here, and I think I only got 19 videos put up on it. I could go back, and I should upload all my old library so you guys can at least at least watch it so what are your thoughts on captain jacks i've used captain jacks that's the spin aside i was going to talk about that in a minute um so that um we'll terpene torch man we're we'll talk about that stuff on another topic about bud enhancers and and, and stuff like that you know the funny thing is, is um when i flower anymore i don't use a whole lot of that stuff anymore so we'll move on um so during the winter time we'll once we hit it with um lost coast plant therapy um i actually feel like a captain jack's product is a little better than this um but the cool thing about this is it does help keep maintenance on like powdery mildew and stuff it does not get rid of the powdery mildew in my opinion, and I know they claim they do, and I'm not trying to hurt no one's feelings here, but I'm gonna tell you right now, sulfur beats it, hands down. But this is a product that can, you know, you can rotate into your, your, your like pest maintenance, okay? 
Um, not on the top of the list, but I do use it. Now, it is an oily product, so you gotta keep that in mind. So you can't mix these two, but when I was using the Zeratol, you can. All right, so we do a spray a week of this, a spray a week of the Zeratol. I've used Captain Jack's. It's a good idea to mix some things up here, which I'm gonna be ordering a new product that's been highly recommended. And lots of times I buy these by the gallons and then fill them up with one of these, you know, because if you're doing it weekly, you're gonna go through more product than you think. So Jack's dead bug spray. I have not, yeah, GML new lights. Yeah, I know that, man. That's, that's amazing. It's hard to believe it, but you know, I know, dude, I know GML, man. He is a thorough motherfucker straight up dude super passionate too so he's got the drive and uh he has no reason to really lie and bullshit to anybody so that's cool that's fucking cool because then you can invest into the lights and you don't have to worry so much about these because i'm going to tell you right now this is 140 dollars for a gallon and that's that's my biggest problem with the whole IPM gig, you know, we have to do it, need to do it, you can use the bugs, the beneficial bugs, um, but then there's just times where you just need to use these, and I think $140, most of these products per gallon are around that range. I think that's ridiculous for a gallon of liquid, $140. So any, if you watch this, I'm sorry, Lost Coast, to, I still think that's crazy. So, um, Wayne and I used that a couple of years ago. Shit, we're going on three now when we had a, a thrip issue come in. Now, it worked. You gotta stay on it for like five days. You gotta dedicate yourself, but you gotta add a little bit of rubbing alcohol to it. And if you add too much, you will fuck your shit up. You will fry your plants, you guys. So be careful, because I did it. I did it. All right, I did it. So, that's what I've been using. Now, recommendation, and I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna buy some, and yeah, it's $140 for a gallon, is the Dr. Zymes. So now I'm gonna grab that and add that in, and I'll use the Dr. Zymes plant therapy. You know what I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap them out but you only hit it once a week. Now, if you do have a problem, you're gonna be hitting it five days in a row. Most of these products on the side will specifically call out thrips, if that's your issue, to hit it for five days. And you gotta stay with it. And you gotta make sure you're hitting it under every leaf, on top of every leaf, top of the soil, all up and down the stem. That's with all products. That's even with the wettable sulfur. Okay, it's even with the wettable software. So I'm gonna try the Dr. Zymes. You know, if you guys have used it, let me know in chat, man. Let's see what you guys got. The GML Prairie Lights will be available in a few weeks. I know, I've seen that too, man. 140 is just wrong. It is, dude, it is. It is. <laughs> and unless you whip up some of your own home remedy, which there's Plenty of that out there on the internet. You could figure that all out or listen to a buddy that does it and, you know, mix up your own own shit. We're pretty much held hostage, you know, on these prices per gallon. That's fucking nuts, man. It's just crazy. Let me see. I think this is a two and a half. No, this is still a one gallon. Wait, is this old ass thing? Ten liters. Anyways, if you even want to buy the two and a half gallons of these products, that's like four hundred and whatever dollars, three ninety nine. I was like, oh my goodness, you guys, this is crazy. I mean, literally, there's a guy out there right now that can't afford to buy. You know, <coughs> a product like that in the gallon size. <coughs> Excuse me. In in 
with the thrips and a lot of them if you see it you better get on it and stay on it for five six days but the thing is is some of these strains and cultivars <laughs> do not like to be sprayed every day for five and six days you know and then that becomes an issue like in my room we got wood um you know all that water every day you know some gets on the floor obviously a lot stays in the trays then you want to rinse your trays out you know because you don't want it all in your reservoir and it's just a mess all right see what else we got 140 captain jack's dead bug concentrate is great value keeping the rotation well how much is that probably around the same and you know as long as that stuff isn't systemic um i would try that and then we could argue the systemic stuff all day long because lots of people still do <laughs> <clears throat> bro where have you been uh mostly instagram i still social media maybe not every day but definitely i'm on a few times a week i try to keep the live streams going now i'm back on here you know just by chance because instagram had an issue we bounced over and did the youtube thing i'm still getting more views after shows like uploads on instagram than i am youtube youtube's real close behind it but we're getting about the same amount of live chat people on youtube as instagram so uh, what else did i want to say so yeah the dr zines I'm gonna buy that. Try that. And actually, I'll probably go out to Grow Green and pick some up because they got it in stock. I'll run out there and grab some from them. I need soil too. I need ten bags. So yeah, it's my annual trip to the grow store. <laughs> Have you ever added Dawn dish soap, a couple of drops per gallon, a couple of waterings per month? Bugs don't like it. No, I have done that in the past. I've never done it as like a routine type of thing. Um, I definitely do not discourage that. It also, another thing it does, um, okay, I'm out here in the garage, right? Um, my garage is not insulated. Um, I do have filters in the room, but dust still gets on the plant. So that is a great wash. A great wash you, and then if you even really want to get crazy you can come back with some just ro water after that too if you want just if you're into just washing your plants off rinsing them off that's what a lot of these will say plant wash you know this plant plant wash product man i got a great buzz going off that clementine food's got me chatty as shit dr zymes works great what about pure crop ones? I've never used that. I've never used that. No. Nope. Soap helps with hydrophobic uh, soil too. Yeah, I mean, think about that. You know, we, the bugs don't like the soap. Neither, you know, we get it in our eyes. We don't like it either. Imagine that. They're soft bodied and they get all that soap on them. That's why a lot of products, you know, you could add a very little bit of alcohol even to that soap mix and that's going to kill you know any active crawlies especially after it dries dries them out <laughs> but just be careful adding that alcohol to your mix because man you can roast your plants <laughs> i did <laughs> i switched between wettable software and athena yeah that's a great idea great combo you know pick Keep that wettable sulfur right in the mix and then something that you can use with the wettable sulfur. And that's a great, great combo. Awesome. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, because uh, right now I can't use lot, uh, plant therapy with the wettable sulfur. I see 60s next week for, for me here where I'm at in Michigan. Um, 60s and sunny. I'll bring my plants outside and hit them with sulfur. Yep. And I let them sit out there until they dry. Um, I'll move the vehicles in my, I got kind of a long drive. I could fit 10 cars in my driveway. Um, we 
we got a lot of family events, so when we had a new driveway put in, we made sure it would fit that many. Anyways, we'll block the cars and then just bring the plants out. And so, but fuck, man, so many people got plants in the neighbor over here. He's always got six plants in his yard over here, too. You ride your, the mopeds around the back part of the neighborhood, man. You're like, whoa, you know, you can smell it. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, in between heavy stuff, I like to use EM1, yes. I had fungus gnats for over a year. More annoying than anything, the only thing that worked for me was mosquito dunks. Yes, yes. Mosquito dunks, you can definitely use those. You sure can. Yep. You can. Yep. I'm totally lit, you guys. Now, one thing I want to say before we... Oh, yeah. I was going to open this thing up. I got, I'm going to take it in the house and get it all tuned in. And bring it back out. Pulse Pro. They got a lot of new kick-ass products, you guys. I'm still affiliated with them. I ain't affiliated with many people anymore, but... Pulse, I still am. That's the pro. Then, of course, all the cool cords, stickers, directions. Man, they're one of the only few companies left that even send you the charging block. Lots, Apple don't even do that no more. And a nice long cord too. That's that's another thing I like. There's a couple other products out there. Stickers, of course. Mounting thing if you use them. Screws. Cause I got a nice long cord. And it should you should be able to reach a plug. You shouldn't have to possibly relocate or add an extension cord. I'm not going to say that's out of the question because it's not. Um, but a nice long cord. I'm gonna take that in and get it all hooked up. We're gonna swap it out. So, uh, other than that, make sure to jump onto my website, mg1brands.com, wait a couple of seconds, and at least sign up for the newsletter because every month I am now releasing a discount code that is worth 15% off and can be active anywhere from 10 to 14 days. And every month for the news subscri uh, letter subscribers, we're gonna switch it up. It's not gonna always be the same discount code, but you'll be able to share it with your friends. I don't really care about any of that, but I like to offer something to the peeps that are joining the newsletter. And I do not spam you week, you know, daily newsletters. Um, I was doing one weekly uh, newsletters just to keep every update updated on what's rooted and ready and available. So, and I was even playing around yesterday with the website, just kind of finishing some things if you get on there you can see I was working on some things I am NOT a professional web designer at all and GMX got me going I appreciate you brother <clears throat> for all the help you've done absolutely get me going on a, on a website but I have definitely kind of figured out how to work the the theme that I'm using and the WooCommerce so but I'm not no pro but I definitely want to give it a facelift. So, uh, it would be great when pot growing hoods is normal. I wish I could grow outdoors, but not allowed here. No? Dang, man. And they allow growing, but just no, no outdoors? Am I wrong on that? Before we get out of here? So yeah, sign up for that newsletter. And plus other things I announced, like new strains coming and, you know, cultivars. I'm fucking with my boots. So, that sucks. I mean, we're allowed to grow here outdoors. Lot, lots of people do it. Indoor only. Out of sight only. Oh, so they still want to control it. They're, like, embarrassed of it. You know, if they would just release it, they would find out it's... What will happen is everyone will that wants to try it will try it. And they'll do a grow or two, and either they're going to stick with it or they're not. And 
more than a quarter of them will probably not. So there's not gonna be just these obnoxious grows in everybody's backyard. They just want you to charge up the electricity bill. That's what I think, <laughs> controlling somebody like that. So <clears throat> Mr. Plumber's in the house, just got through sneaking out of the stinky j <laughs> What's going on, man? Nothing, man, we're just hanging out. I'm gonna re-upload if you just came in. And uh, we just kind of went through some IPM stuff today. Unboxed my little Pulse Pro that we're going to hang up in the uh, main bedroom. Just kind of swap them out. So that's what's up. So thank you guys for joining. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. We'll upload this and uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. You guys all have yourself a great Wednesday. Peace.